Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Right Way Options, and this is the Morning Market Prep video for July 12th, 2022. Well, yesterday, the uncertainty kind of got the better of the market. The bears seemed to have an upper hand, and we left behind some well, bearish type patterns. Uh, on the chart, but it really shouldn't have been that much of a surprise um, as we wait on a bunch of market moving data and the fact that we're challenging downtrends, technical resistance, and price resistance levels in the chart. So what does that mean for today? Well, how about we settle in? Let's buckle up. Let's get ready for the Tuesday edition of the Morning Market Prep video. Good morning once again, everyone, and thank you so much for being here. I do truly appreciate it. Let's take a look at these charts, see if we can pick up some information about how we may want to approach the market for today. Well, first off, obviously, we still have kind of an ugly situation here in the market, but there is that little bit of silver lining of hope in these charts. If we take a look, certainly downtrends are maintaining themselves. We haven't been able to break through resistance levels in the chart. But at this point, we still have this little upside opportunity and a little price support in here that could catch us. So the possibility does exist that we could push down into here and still find that way to bounce up and break some of these uh, downtrend levels in these charts. Unfortunately, we left behind a little bit of a concerning pattern. This is not an official evening star type pattern, but it certainly is a bearish pattern at price resistance and unfortunately we are following through to the downside this morning if we take a look at our technical patterns here again probably shouldn't have been a major surprise we are struggling here against our technical patterns that remain bullish in the market if we take a look at our spy spy very much the same situation downtrend continuing in the chart rejecting some price resistance levels, being able to hold on to a little bit of hope here, a little bit of price support. So we haven't given all of that up yet, but certainly not looking all that wonderful at the moment with this evening star type pattern showing up at price resistance in the chart. So keep a close eye on this. Certainly the technicals in the chart remain quite bearish um, but we can hold on to that little tiny hope here that maybe we'll catch some support here and bounce now our t our qqq i'm sorry our qqq we did break out of that little bit longer term downtrend here and we are pulling back to maybe test that area of support and we saw some pretty heavy selling in some of the big big text yesterday with them pulling back um, quite a little bit but watch this area right in here once again we're trying to hold that little upper hand here we're still rejecting price resistance in the chart and yet we still have a little bit of price support in here that could hold that uh, market up so fingers crossed a little bit of hope in here but certainly we have some bearishness coming into the market this morning and our technical patterns are not bullish at all so we'll want to keep um, a close eye on that on the russell um, IWM is continuing to struggle again in that downtrend failing at price resistance um, trying to hold a little bit of price support and clinging to a little bit of an upside trend so we still have that silver lining hope if those bears don't really start pushing hard today and that chance that we could bounce up here but we won't want to keep in mind the price resistance and technical patterns remain quite bearish here in the Russell as well if we take a look at our VIX made mention of the fact that yesterday that the VIX had broken this little upside trend here ever so slightly but continued to held, hold on to price support in the chart and unfortunately we did bounce up in yesterday and I suspect with the bearishness we're seeing in the pre-market right now we will bounce a little bit higher 
here this morning. So um, certainly not relieving um, any of that uncertainty that we have here in the market. But remember, all of those things could change very dramatically um, when we start to reveal some of this data uh, that begins tomorrow. So let's take a look at what else could be affecting our market here. If we take a look at our T2122, our T2122 might be that best hope of a bounce. And the reason I say that is T2122 pulled back pretty sharply yesterday in that move. And with the gap down this morning, we're likely going to see our T2122 down here in the bearish reversal zone. Now, that being said, it is a little bit difficult to envision that we're going to get an aggressive relief rally bounce as we wait on the data coming our way tomorrow and Thursday and Friday. So it would be a little bit difficult to foresee a major bounce, but we could get a little relief in here um, just being down in this area. Of course, if the risk off sentiment continues, then we certainly can continue to power this lower. But keep in mind that as we look at this chart, we do have some space to move on down here um, in that um, indicator. And we've um, also opened up a significant upside space if we can find that reason for bullishness. So keep a close eye on that. T2122 may be giving us that little bit of hope. T2107, unfortunately, didn't give us a whole lot of warm and fuzzies yesterday. As you can see, pulling back, um, the good news is we haven't taken out the lows in the chart, but we continue to struggle with price resistance and downtrend in T2107. Um, about 70% of the stocks holding above their 200-day moving average does suggest that we're in that oversold condition, but it certainly doesn't um, give us um, a whole lot of encouragement that um, the market should turn bullish just yet. So watch that close. And our T2108 um, did a little bit better yesterday, but it did pull back, as you can see. Did a little bit better holding up. We continue to hold some higher lows in here holding on to some price support levels <clears throat> excuse me but struggling with some price resistance in the chart and as you can see downtrends still in play here so um I, again uh 31 percent of the stocks holding above their 40-day uh, helpful but not exactly you know super encouraging considering the data that we have coming our way um, if we take a look at our t2101 I, I want to tell everyone that I don't think t2101 is really helping us a lot right now and one of the reasons that is the case if we look at our um, economic charts or our index charts our volume remains um, decidedly low i mean we're we're not getting volume moves and what we're seeing is that uncertainty in the market playing out in the volume a lot of traders must just be sitting on their hands saying look i'm not going to put money at risk in this there's just too much at stake i'm going to wait i'm going to be patient and um, i think that is probably a wise sentiment um as we wait on some of this data. So what have I been talking about for all of this data? Well, first off, if we take a look at what we got going on today, there's not a whole lot to get too excited about. We have a 52 week bond um, auction, a 10 year note auction. That could be important today with that 210 inversion continuing to point to recession. So you'll wanna keep an eye on that. Um, we've got the small business optimism index i can't imagine that's going to be perking up really big here today but it's also not a big market mover and the only other thing that we have to think about here is we've got some more fed um fed speak out there um they just continue to yak and yak and yak um out there so um, I don't know that the market will respond uh, majorly to that. What we're waiting for is we're waiting for this. We're going to have CPI numbers on Wednesday, and that is what everyone is concerned about. We'll want to pay attention uh, carefully to that. 
we'll want to think about how much risk we have on in our uh, portfolio heading into that number because there's just no way to know um, how much or what direction that may move the market in. We're also going to have those mortgage applications that have continued to show bearishness, petroleum status that's been struggling to provide a whole lot of support for um, those oil prices. So um, boy, it's going to be um, interesting starting tomorrow. And then the hits just keep on coming with jobless claims, PPI, the beginning of earnings season. The big banks will start reporting here on Thursday. Oh my goodness, it's going to be a busy end of this week with a lot of potential volatility. So be prepared. Make sure you have um, plans in place to protect yourself because I would expect big opening gaps, either up or down, big intraday whipsaws as a possibility. Large point moves are likely on the way. So be prepared to protect your capital in that kind of environment. Let's take a look at our um, earnings calendar. Now our earnings calendar is pretty light today. There are only four verified reports on the day. Remember, we're gonna begin earnings season on Thursday, and that's where we start getting those big bank earnings. So you'll wanna pay attention to that. That's going to create some volatility in the market. And we um, only have three confirmed or reports that I think are even somewhat notable this morning. First off, PepsiCo. PepsiCo has already reported. They reported better than expected they beat both on the top and bottom line and um, they are guiding um, forward um, in the chart or um, in their um, report so watch that closely we've been rallying up here pretty sharply and remember i've been talking about these defensive sector food sector stocks um, this is this might be the beginning of a trend of some of those food stocks and defensive sector things picking up good dividend payers in a market of uncertainty or risk off environment could be the place to be looking for some pretty good trades. So watch that closely. Now keeping in mind, uh, PepsiCo has got a pretty big upside resistance here to deal with still but it is worth watching um, in that chart. And then we have um, ANGO. ANGO will be reporting today. Keep an eye on this, as you can see, trying to break through, man, a significant level of price resistance in the chart. But the good news is we've been making a little higher lows here, trying to show that bullishness um, in that chart. So this could be an important report and we know healthcare sector has been one of those strong sectors in the market so watch that closely and then last but not least amx and you know i don't know if this whoops is going to be a significant uh, notable here for the for the day you want to keep an eye on the fact that we've had these higher lows coming into this trade but we have struggled here recently creating a lower high um, in that chart. So a little bit of a wedging pattern in here. Watch that close when it reports. Let's take a look at some stocks that could be setting up. But before we do that, guys, if this is the first time you've seen these videos, if you could please click that subscribe button on YouTube and also click that bell icon when it pops up so you'll be notified every time I post one of these videos. And if you find them to be useful or helpful, if you can please continue to support the channel by um, clicking those thumbs up buttons, leaving those comments, it helps a lot. As you guys know, it, it really takes quite a bit of time to prepare, put all of this stuff together, produce the video, get it rendered, uploaded to YouTube and out before the market open. And um, I just wanna say thank you to all of those who support that effort um, by clicking those thumbs up buttons, leaving those brief comments, and then also those that are supporting the channel through the Buy Me A Coffee link. Truly, truly appreciate it. And I wanna thank you so much for all of your support and kind comments to the channel. Let's take a look at um, some of these charts that could be setting up for today. Please keep in mind, guys, these are not recommendations to buy or sell any security. As a matter of fact, I want to remind you that there is so much uncertainty in this market that anything 
is possible. We could see low volume chop. We could see some big price swings. We could see big gaps tomorrow. So make sure you are prepared for that kind of wild price activity and don't over trade this market. Be very, very careful on any of these ideas that I show you. Make sure you understand the risk. Make sure they fit your risk profile and your trading rules. First off, let's take a look at um, um, an interesting chart, chart here, Rivian. Um, Rivian breaking through this downtrend here just recently, pushing up and now pulling back. Now, boy, there's been a lot of money lost on Rivian. Um, I mean, uh, tremendous money being has been lost on Rivian. But it's starting to come around here just a little bit. So let's watch this area right in here, see if it can pick up a little bit of price support and maybe bounce higher. This happens to be one of those rounded bottom breakout patterns that we want to keep an eye on. And that rounded bottom breakout pattern is one of those really good productive patterns to learn, to understand, and to pay attention to. And we're in that kind of market environment where we well, fingers crossed, we have that opportunity that we could start seeing a little bit of rally if if we can hope that earnings uh, produce good results this quarter. Now, keeping in mind on this, we've got this little um, higher low going on in here and that opportunity that we could start popping and moving to the upside. So keep an eye on Rivian. And you know, I've been talking about a lot of these kind of charts. Um, if you take a look at Chewy, this is exactly what I'm talking about. We break above that 50 day, we hold that higher low in here, and then there we go, we move up toward that 200 day. I've talked about snow. Um, snow is one of those charts. There's that push through the 50 day moving average, and now we're trying to hold. By the way, this was a test that failed. Now we've rallied through. Now we're trying to prove to hold. So keep an eye on this trend and be looking for that next opportunity here for snow to maybe start pushing up. Patience and discipline are going to be very, very important in this market. Stock pickers um, could start building an upper hand if earnings start coming out better than expected and we can start picking these stocks up. So watch that closely in these charts. The elements here that we want to pay attention to, the break of the downtrend, the break through the 50, the proof that we can hold an upside trend. Watch those kind of things carefully and then we can look for these stocks to start working their way back up toward that 200 day moving average. So keep a close eye on stocks like Snow. Etsy is another one of those that I've been talking about and Etsy is really setting up for that possibility, pushing through that 50 day, holding that upside trend, may require a little bit more rest out here to just kind of bring that 50 day moving average and have it start turning up just a little bit. And then we might see that opportunity for Etsy to start picking up and moving through that area. I've mentioned Roku um, as that possibility could be coming. Notice that we broke through the 50 day moving average a couple of times, but yesterday re we rejected that once again. If we can hold onto this trend and push back through, then perhaps this next time we can hold up there. I wouldn't I wouldn't bet the bank on it, but let's um, just keep an eye on charts that are trying to improve out of these bottoms and watch them closely. Uh, now, other sectors that we want to be taking um, a look at, um, really be focusing in on um, some of these food sector stocks. As you guys um, know, PepsiCo did really well today in their earnings report. Take a look at KHC. KHC is still below its 50 day moving average but notice we've made this higher low in here and we're trying to hold some price support. Now I can't tell you whether or not this is going to build enough energy to push through or not, but I do think it's worth keeping an eye on. Uh, KHC, um, Hershey, Hershey's holding that higher low, broke back through its 50 day moving average, holding a little bit of higher level of support. Now it certainly has some resistance here in this chart to deal with, but these big divvy payers might be the kind of stocks that could start holding up and being some pretty good plays. So watch that carefully. Uh, CPB. 
Campbell Soup is another one. It started to push yesterday. This was in the morning prep. Started to push up yesterday, trying to break this little range that it's been stuck in. And as you can see, that opportunity that we may push on higher here in Campbell's um, right through to that upside. So watch that closely. You could also keep an eye on stocks like CLX. CLX in that um, defensive sector type area. Notice that we've got the potential of an inverted head and shoulders pattern showing up in here. And we have this stock trying to hold on to its 50 day moving average right in here after breaking through. So watch that carefully. If we can hold that support in there, that higher low, look for that opportunity maybe for that to perk on up. Other places in that defensive sector area, take a look at Costco. Um, now Costco is also in that consumer defensive sector and notice that's been moving in this upside trend. Now, I've talked about this a few times, but what's good about this chart right now is we've broken through some price resistance and now we're gonna test and see whether or not that's going to hold a support and then that opportunity that Costco could start moving on higher. Take a look at Dollar General. Dollar General also very, very bullish. It's got some work here to do. We're maybe going to attempt to break through these all-time highs here in Dollar General, but look at this upside move, and I've talked about this one several times in that pattern that I call the stepper, where we step, move up, step, move up, and we're building that step right now. Watch for that opportunity that that could build enough energy to pop through in that chart. So quite a few of those kind of charts out there starting to show some viability. I still think UPS is definitely worth paying attention to. It's getting hit a little bit this morning in the pre-market. As long as it can hold this price support under here, I think we're okay. But let's watch that carefully. We don't want this to be breaking down below the support level or losing this trend. So watch that in there. Remember, I mentioned all the way over here, we got to be patient on these trades when we're dealing with price resistance. We may have to rest and consolidate this all the way out to that trend to build enough energy to push through. So keep a close eye on some of those. So with that, everyone, hey, I want to wish you all a fantastic day. I want to wish you great results in your trading. I want to thank you so much for being here today. Wish you all of the best, and I'll see you right back here, bright and early, Wednesday morning. Have a great day.